Welcome back, Towners. Today we're going to make a breakfast sandwich. Let's get it. Welcome back, Towners. All right, to start off this recipe here, we have some ground sausage. This here is some Jimmy Dean sausage. We went ahead and placed it into our skillet over about medium high heat. Um, I, I, everything I put in this pan sticks, but I just continue to use it because it's like one of my biggest pans, but I don't really need to toss this thing out and get a new pan. But just go ahead, go ahead and brown up your sausage and for until it's done, basically uh, about five minutes or so. Pop a lid on if you want to cook it low and slow, but just cook it all the way through until it's browned up. Take a few minutes and once it's done, we basically cut them up and made patties out of the uh, sausage roll. Uh, then we took a, a, a bowl here and cracked in about four eggs and we still found our whisk guys. So for some reason the kids haven't got to this, we've been able to hide it from them. So we still got our whisk, put in a splash of almond milk in here and went ahead and scrambled those eggs up. Uh, got our skillet and placed some salt, this was some salted Kerrygold butter and uh, popped our eggs in over about a medium, medium high heat. These scrambled up so quick about a minute, minute 15 and they were done. And then we just hit it with some additional pepper and that was it. This is our uh, end, the end roll pieces of our Aldi's uh, keto bread. For some reason, these edge pieces were really, really thick. Um, I, I don't mind using the edge piece. I love using the edge pieces of bread, especially on like a sloppy sandwich. It really helps to hold everything together. Uh, we took some uh, sugar-free strawberry preserves um, and placed those on the bottom. We're gonna use that as like our mayonnaise or our basin of the bread. Spread our eggs around as best as we could. Popped on some cheddar cheese. And here we're using the last bit of the um, pickled jalapenos that we made a few weeks ago. That, 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 that jar of pickled jalapenos lasted us about a good two, two weeks, two and a half weeks with no issues with it. Uh, Place some sausage patties on top, position them anywhere that you like. And then went ahead and smashed that sandwich down and uh, went ahead and cut it in half. Um, I normally don't cut my sandwiches in half if I'm I'll do it for like the camera for you guys can see inside see the halfway through I, I like my sandwich I like the whole, the whole sandwich and I feel like for some reason that you get less sandwich when you cut it in half I don't know it's just like you, you already ate one took one bite and like oh, the sandwich is almost halfway gone but I don't know weird um, but, <laughs> but here's the inside of our sandwich look you can see all the layers the jelly the eggs the uh, cheese sausage patties uh, all these bread the sandwich sandwich came out great hope you guys enjoy this recipe if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section below um, please like share and subscribe and as always thank you guys for watching enjoy enjoy and please subscribe enjoy hey towners please like share and subscribe if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section all ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.